Uh, there are several people who are said to be the founding fathers of artificial intelligence. And uh, that's the reason why no woman has come forth and claimed to be the mother of artificial intelligence. My uh, notion, uh, ideas of artificial intelligence, came when I un uh, attended a conference, uh, a symposium on cerebral mechanisms and behavior. And one of the things that happened at that conference was a comparison of the brain and computers. Now, it occurred to me that well, one wanted to use computers to, one wanted to program computers to behave intelligently. And I imagined that people had talked about that at the conference. Uh, but when many, many years later, I uh, had to give a, an autobiographical lecture, I went back and read the proceedings of the conference, and I discovered that no one had talked about actually using computers uh, to behave intelligently. My idea was to have a summer study analogous to the summer studies that had been held about some defense problems. So uh, it seemed to me that if 10 people uh, got together and spent the summer, that substantial progress might be made. And so I got uh, three other people, uh, Nathaniel Rochester from IBM and Claude Shannon and Marvin Minsky to join me in submitting a proposal to the Rockefeller Foundation to support a study at Dartmouth uh, for the summer. And uh, for the purpose that the people who came would know what the subject was was about, it wasn't uh, automata in, in general, but was aimed at uh, artificial intelligence. So I called it artificial intelligence. Now certain things didn't happen as planned. The Rockefeller Foundation gave us only half as much money as we asked for. And most of the people who came could only come for a short time. I thought we would make substantial progress towards uh, human level artificial intelligence that summer. And uh, we didn't. And um, human level artificial intelligence uh, has turned out to be a very difficult scientific problem and it isn't solved yet. But then it was a hundred years from Mendel's work to the deciphering of the genetic code. So uh, uh, people shouldn't be discouraged uh, if it takes a long time.